This is going to blow your mind. Imagine your life is just a simulation. Ready to wake up? Today we're diving headfirst down the rabbit hole of simulations, reality glitches, and the mind-bending question, can you actually break free? Ever had that eerie moment of deja vu? Or felt like the universe is just off? You're not alone. From the matrix to stories of bizarre coincidences, the idea that we're living in a programmed reality has fascinated and freaked out many. But why does this theory hold so much weight? Is there proof? And most importantly, if we are in a simulation, can we wake up? Stick around because what I'm about to share might just change how you see your life. Get ready to question everything. This is Glitch in the Matrix, the real red pill. You won't want to miss it. Before we dive deeper, let's talk about the simulation hypothesis. What if I told you that reality, as you know it, might just be a highly sophisticated computer simulation? Sounds like science fiction, right? But it's a theory that's gained significant traction. Think about it, Elon Musk, one of the most influential tech entrepreneurs, and philosopher Nick Bostrom have both advocated for this mind-bending idea. They suggest that with the rapid advancement of technology, it's not entirely far-fetched to believe that our universe could be a simulation created by a more advanced civilization. Imagine it like this, we're living inside a video game and every interaction, every decision, is just a line of code. But here's the kicker. What if you could wake up and take control? Remember the iconic scene in The Matrix where Neo takes the red pill and sees the world for what it truly is? That's the essence of the simulation hypothesis. It's a concept that has permeated popular culture from movies to books, capturing our imagination and making us question the very fabric of our existence. So what does it mean for us if this theory holds any truth? Can we break free from this digital prison? Or are we destined to remain players in a cosmic game? Stick with us as we unravel the mysteries and explore the possibilities. Now, let's take a look at some of the most intriguing glitches in the matrix that people have experienced. These are real-life stories that make you question the nature of our reality. Picture this. An individual walks into a room, places their keys on a table, and moments later, those keys vanish without a trace. No one else was around, and the keys were never found. Was it a simple case of forgetfulness, or did they just witness a glitch in the simulation? Consider another story. Two friends are driving down a familiar road when they suddenly find themselves in an unfamiliar town, only to return to the same spot minutes later, with no recollection of how they got there. Was it a time slip, a parallel universe, or just a fault in the matrix? And then there's the phenomenon of deja vu, an eerie feeling that you've experienced a moment before, in exactly the same way. Could this be a sign that the simulation is resetting or that we've encountered a bug in the system? These stories aren't isolated incidents. They come from people all over the world sharing accounts of strange occurrences that defy logical explanation. Are these just coincidences? Or are they evidence that our reality isn't as solid as we think? Have you ever felt something wasn't quite right with reality? Maybe you've experienced a moment that made you stop and question what's real. If so, we want to hear from you. Leave your experiences in the comments below, because this conversation isn't just about theories, it's about your life too. Stay tuned as we continue to explore these fascinating glitches and what they might mean for our understanding of existence. Now let's delve into the symbolism of the red pill. In the context of simulation theory, taking the red pill represents awakening to a greater truth, a reality beyond the illusion. The term originates from the iconic movie The Matrix, where the protagonist Neo is offered a choice. Take the blue pill and remain in blissful ignorance, or take the red pill and uncover the unsettling truth about his world. But what does it truly mean to take the red pill? It means breaking free from societal programming, questioning the narratives we've been fed, and challenging our deep-seated beliefs. It's about daring to see the world as it truly is, not as we've been conditioned to see it. Are you ready to take the red pill and see beyond the illusion? Or are you too comfortable in the simulation? This choice isn't just a metaphor, it's a call to action for each of us to examine our own lives and the world around us. Philosophers have pondered this idea for centuries. Take Plato's allegory of the cave, for instance. In this allegory, prisoners are chained inside a dark cave, watching shadows on a wall, believing those shadows to be the only reality. One prisoner escapes and discovers the outside world, realizing that the shadows were mere illusions. 
This allegory mirrors our own potential awakening from the simulation. Are we content with the shadows or do we seek the light of truth? As we continue this journey, remember that the choice to wake up is yours alone. Stay curious, stay questioning, and stay tuned for more revelations. The truth is out there waiting for those brave enough to seek it. Now let's explore the techniques people use to wake up from the simulation. These practices aim to elevate awareness and pierce through the veil of illusion. One popular method is mindfulness and consciousness hacking. Through meditation, individuals seek to quiet the mind and observe reality as it truly is, beyond the mental constructs. Lucid dreaming, where you become aware that you are dreaming and can control the dream, is another powerful tool. It's believed to offer a glimpse into the plasticity of our perceived reality. Altered states of consciousness, achieved through various means, can also disrupt the simulation's hold on our minds. Another approach is digital minimalism. In our hyper-connected world, constant exposure to digital media can cloud our perception of reality. By unplugging from the digital world and reducing screen time, we might begin to see the world more clearly, free from the distractions and manipulations of the simulation. But let's take a moment to reflect. Do you ever feel like your thoughts are not your own? Could the simulation be programming your daily life? These questions invite us to examine our routines, our beliefs, and our interactions with the world. As you ponder these techniques and questions, remember that the journey to awakening is deeply personal. It requires courage, curiosity, and a willingness to see beyond the surface. The path to awakening is yours to choose. Are you ready to take the next step? Now let's delve into a more controversial aspect of the simulation theory. Could powerful entities like governments or corporations be the architects of our simulated reality? Imagine a world where every thought, every action, is subtly influenced by unseen forces. Are we being programmed to behave and consume in specific ways? This idea suggests that the simulation isn't just a random occurrence, but a carefully crafted mechanism of control. Consider the conspiracy theories surrounding projects like the Montauk Project or MCultra. These infamous operations have been linked to mind control and manipulation. Could they be part of a larger scheme to keep us in line? to make us believe in the illusion of freedom while we are actually trapped in a controlled environment? If we are indeed living in a simulation designed by powerful entities, breaking free could be seen as an act of resistance. But what would you do with your newfound freedom? Would you challenge the status quo or create a new reality for yourself? This brings us to a critical question. What if you're not living your life but someone else's script? Could it be that every decision, every belief, is part of a pre-designed narrative? As we ponder these unsettling possibilities, remember that questioning everything is the first step towards awakening. Could breaking free from the simulation be the ultimate act of liberation? Are you ready to take control and rewrite your own script? Now let's explore a crucial question. Can you truly wake up from the simulation? Some skeptics argue that there's no way to completely wake up. They believe we might be stuck in an endless loop of illusion. But what do you think? Are you already awake or is the simulation fooling even you? Philosophers often debate whether awareness is enough to break free. Is simply knowing about the simulation sufficient? Or do we need to radically change our actions and perceptions to escape it? Imagine for a moment that you've just realized you're in a simulation. What would your next step be? Would you alter your daily routine or maybe challenge your own beliefs and perceptions? Some suggest that true awakening requires a complete transformation in how we see the world and ourselves. But this leads to another question. Is it even possible to change our fundamental nature while still within the simulation? Think about it. If the simulation is all-encompassing, can we ever truly step outside of it? Or are we destined to remain within its boundaries no matter how much we strive to awaken? What do you think? Are we capable of breaking free, or is this just another layer of the illusion? As we continue to question and explore, remember, the journey towards awakening is as important as the destination itself. Whether or not we're in a simulation, the real question is, what are you going to do about it? Will you stay asleep, or take the red pill? Imagine a moment where you have the power to choose your reality. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads, one path leading to the comfort of ignorance and the other to the challenging journey of awakening. Which path will you choose? 
As you near this conclusion, let's pose a choose-your-own-adventure scenario. Will you dare to question everything you know to challenge the boundaries of your perceived reality? This is more than just a philosophical exercise. It's an invitation to be part of something bigger. To look beyond the surface and seek the deeper truths that lie hidden beneath. The choice to wake up is not just a metaphor. It's a call to action. Comment below with your own experiences of glitches in the matrix. Share your stories, your doubts, and your moments of clarity. Are you ready to wake up from the simulation? This is Glitch in the Matrix, the real red pill. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember the choice is yours. Are you ready to take it?